going on everyone i hope you had a good weekend over the weekend i was out filming with my girlfriend i was helping her with a video for her youtube channel and i was really happy with some of the shots that we got i was pretty stoked on that um, so i figured out i'd make a little bit of a tutorial on how to do a fast forward effect um, this is inspired by christian metagrab um, he's another youtuber he does some more premiere pro tutorials um, for cinematic filmmaking um, so i've been following him for a while and i really like a lot of his stuff and he did this tutorial in adobe premiere pro so i'm inspired by this video but we're gonna do it in final cut today so if we hop into final cut pro i got two clips laid out this is from the clips that you saw in the beginning i'll just play it for you quickly here So these are shots we're going to work with today and they work really well for a couple of reasons. Um, one, because they have motion in it, whether that's hair flicking or spinning or um, just general movement walking. Um, these shots are going to work better. It doesn't really work if your subject isn't moving that quickly. So that's something to keep in mind. And another reason is that these were shot in slow motion because what slow motion allows us to do is slow it down and then speed it up. Um, faster than original time and that's really going to help make this effect super dramatic which is going to look pretty cool so a couple things that i like to do from the start um, number one is to drop a few markers on points in the clip that would work well for um, this sort of effect so just off the bat um, she has this little hair flick um, just like that so we can actually put two in so I'm going to do one from the start and just that hair movement there, hit M and we'll drop a marker. And then if we scroll forward a little bit, we'll hit another marker there. That could be fast to about there and then slow. And then fast for the rest of that clip. So that one's gonna look pretty good. And then the way we can use this fast forward effect as a transition is by doing two fast forwards back to back. So the end of this clip will be fast and then this clip will start off fast as well. So for this one, we'll put that in as a marker. And then we'll keep all of this as slow motion and then just finish off there with some fast motion. So this is going to be the general framework for this effect. To get this started, we're going to hit the Retime Editor by going Command-R and opening this up. And then right off the bat, I'm just going to slow this all down to about 50%. And then to insert our fast areas, hit Shift-B, and this is going to be a blade speed. So for a blade speed, we can start this one off and do fast times 4. Roughly um, four times as fast as normal speed is going to give a desired result. Eight or 20 or anything in between tends to be a little bit too fast and the clip just too much goes on. So I like four, two is a little bit slower. Um, so if you start off with slow 50% and fast of times four, that tends to be a pretty good balance. So that's going to be our starting off. The next thing we can do is make this a little bit more dramatic by bringing in these bars. So what these are are transitions where the clip is going to slow down. So from here, it's going to be at 400% and then going all the way down to 50% right there. So I'm going to drag these in a little bit and I'm actually going to make this a little bit longer um, because it's pretty short. It's only a couple frames. So if you double click on this bar here, you can edit the source frame, and then I'm just going to drag this out so we get a decent amount of, of fast motion there. About a second or so. And then drag these in to make it a little bit more dramatic. So then we're just going to skip all the way to over here. So I'm going to hit Shift B once again. And then this is going to be a fast clip. 
hit that as four. And that should look pretty good. I'm gonna leave this as a big transition. So it sort of winds up and into the fast motion and then cuts to this clip here. So if we do the same thing for this shot, hit Command R to open up the Retime Editor. Go to our first marker, hit Shift B. Oh, we'll make this 50% to start off. Go to our first marker, hit Shift B. Make this times four. And this can be a slow motion. And then for here, hit Shift B again, and then we'll finish off with fast motion. Just like so. And then this one, I'm going to drag in to make this more dramatic once again. Cool, so that is pretty much the effect. But one trick that I found that gives a really good result is to add a little bit of motion blur to the shot. And this is really going to enhance that fast forwarding um, blur that we get. If you guys watch John Olson vlogs, Benny does this all the time. He does a really strong motion blur. Um, and I think it looks pretty cool. So I have my own motion blurs for sale. If you want to check those out, I'll put the link in the description. And what's cool about the ones that I offer is you can do um, an effect drag and drop instead of doing an overlay. I have the overlay ones as well, but I have ones that are in the effects panel. And then I'm just going to drag and drop MW Motion Blur 3 on top of these clips. Um, and that's going to give us the motion blur that we're looking for. So I'll just play these out right now before the motion blur, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. So I think this looks pretty cool. It's definitely getting the look that we want. Then all we have to do is drag and drop these over top. And I'll let this render through, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. OK, guys, let's check it out. So I think that looks really cool. I'll show you guys. If we click on this, this is with the clip um, with motion blur. And then if I deselect it here, you can see it just adds that enhanced motion, um, which really helps sell the fast forward effect. But that is today's video, guys. If you guys appreciate my content, please consider liking and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you guys for all the support, and I'll see you guys next time.